This is you. Microscopic organisms, bacteria, fungi, viruses, a hundred trillion of them, they live on and inside your body. Some are friendly, some are harmful. Together they make up what is known as your microbiome. Just like your personality, your microbiome is unique to you. These bacteria have genes that produce uh, things that some are, are good for life and then others uh, convey risk for uh, various diseases. As we discover more about the microbiome, we enter a new world of possibilities. What if we could analyze your microbiome and tell you exactly what your health risks are? How is your blood pressure doing? It's still staying up there. Mr. Miller has tried eating healthier and exercising more, but he still has difficulty losing weight and dropping his blood pressure. The EKG shows his heart is also taking a toll. Your heart actually has increased its muscle size. That is one of the known side effects of having poorly controlled high blood pressure, and it's dangerous. The doctor takes stool and urine samples to analyze his microbiome. The research team finds that Mr. Miller has unique bacterial and viral strains. The same type of strains also present in other patients with similar obesity and hypertension problems. Because research has shown that the microbiome influences obesity, even in patients who have not responded to conventional treatment, a closer look at Mr. Miller's microbiome just might be the solution. It was recently shown that meat eaters actually have a unique microbiome that make them at risk for having heart disease, uh, heart attacks, as well as stroke. We are seeing if we can find predictors for transplant rejection before the patient experiences any outward signs of this condition, which would allow the healthcare provider to begin early preventative treatment and hopefully prevent the patient from losing their organ. Better yet, what if we could find a way to eliminate these diseases once and for all? Groundbreaking research is being conducted by a team of scientists in Chicago. Using state-of-the-art equipment, they can analyze and process tens of thousands of samples. The supercomputer that we have here is 179 servers with 26 terabytes of memory and a petabyte of storage. The data set that we're working with currently is a data set of 339,000 patients. And what we're looking at is how we're going to correlate hypertension and obesity. A lot like having 3,500 desktops working together to solve the problem. What we're doing is taking data from their medical records, uh, from census data, from um, genetic data, urine data, lab data, and putting them all together to kind of build a composite to be able to answer questions that we weren't able to answer yesterday. With that data, they hope to discover the secret to a healthier, happier you. It's different for everybody, so it's very important to be able to study uh, medicine in a individual capacity. My goal is to try to move forward cardiovascular disease, which is the number one killer in the U.S. You are going to have better quality of life long into your years. You're going to be able to hike, you'll be able to walk, you'll be able to do all the things that you want to do well into your old age. As passionately as I believe in taking care of patients and making a difference, I think that we have a responsibility to do so. But they need your help. People should get their microbiome analyzed for um, several different reasons. The primary one is to help themselves. We don't have enough information to actually process this right now, which is why we're asking people to make donations. We need to see on a long-term scale how do people react. We need to be taking action now. I invite each and every one of you to partake in this. We all have a role to play. We can all make a difference. This journey of discovering and understanding the microbiome is one we need to embark on together in order to be successful. The Microbiome Project is very exciting. It's very exciting. This is the future. It is the future. Your support and contributions will help pave the way for a healthier, brighter future for all of us.